a time-honoured tradition on a university campus. Oh, thank you all. The incoming Reserve Bank Governor receiving the same treatment as Phil Lowe. We've got a housing fix! Stop, stop, stop the rent! That's not what I thought was going to happen uh, when I started to speak. Um, but uh, anyway... Um, Michelle Bullock was there to talk about climate change in her first speech since being appointed to the top job. After a dozen rate hikes and with a million households on the edge of a mortgage cliff, it might seem an odd topic, but she has good reason. In fact, two good reasons. The first is that extreme weather can cause supply shocks, and the second is the cost of transitioning to a cleaner environment will deeply affect our economy. Climate change will have implications for, for price stability, for employment and stability of the financial system. The RBA's primary focus is inflation and unemployment. But food and goods shortages from extreme weather feed directly into higher prices and higher interest rates. Add in the soaring cost of insurance and you start to get an idea why the soon-to-be governor's worried. Hotter temperatures and more extreme weather will disrupt businesses. They'll damage property and lower productivity growth. If the disruptions become more frequent, more severe or perhaps more protracted due to climate change, prices could become more volatile. While markets are convinced rates will stay on hold next week, Michelle Bullock played her best poker face. I'm reluctant to give any sort of um, predictions on how long interest rates might have to stay high. The captain may be about to change, but the ship has an altered course.